Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe these days. So I want to go ahead and just demonstrate how to get Windows 11 installed on an unsupported PC, whether it's the old uh, unsupported processor, there's no TPM, um, no secure boot options, etc, etc. There could be a number of reasons why Windows 11 hardware requirements, new ones, are getting in your way from getting it on a particular system, maybe a slightly, ever so slightly older generation computer. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create a Windows 11 USB um, thumb drive here for full from scratch installation of Windows 11 on the system. So what we'll de de definitely need over here, just a couple little things to download. Going to go ahead and search on Google for the option to download Windows 11. You'll come up to a page very similar to this, if not the exact one. You can actually do have the option to download the assist installation assistant right over here, which will unfortunately give you the bad news if your computer is in case. Not, not compatible or some other hardware issue is not going to allow you to install Windows 11. Down here is basically what we're looking for to download the Windows 11 disk image right over here, the ISO file. So go ahead and just click on, once you select your Windows 11, go ahead and click on download. It'll immediately ask you to choose a language. So we'll go ahead and just click on uh, select English here. Feel free to go ahead and select any other language you prefer. And then just click on confirm you'll immediately see your new link is going to be created here. And you can go ahead and just download it now. I've already run ahead and downloaded this particular image file. It's about five, just a little over five gigabytes. So there it is. The last thing we'll need is a little tool here to create our USB thumb drive with the ISO file we just downloaded. So there's many tools out there that definitely do the job, but I definitely do have a preference here for the Rufus USB create tool. You can definitely go ahead and Google that one as well too. And you'll see here, this page comes up here. Just below, you do have the option to download the latest version. I have already gone ahead and downloaded that tool right over here. So now we have basically both pieces of uh, software that we actually need. Go ahead and open up your tool and be sure to prep up a USB thumb drive. That's about eight, at least eight gigabytes. I do actually have one right over here. And of course, bear in mind that any data that's currently on that thumb drive will be wiped out by the tool. So go ahead and plug in your thumb drive, open up your tool right here. You'll see this window come up here with the option to go ahead and select your USB thumb drive. It should immediately just uh, detect the one that's currently plugged in. If you have multiple thumb drives, it'll ask you to go ahead and select one. I don't recommend you actually have multiple ones and, uh, connected at this time. So just have the one you'll actually be using. It'll then ask you to go ahead and select the ISO image that we just downloaded. Go ahead and select on desktop and select the Windows 11 image you just downloaded. We are now pretty much ready to go ahead and start our little thumb drive here. So just click on start and I'll go ahead and create the thumb drive for you. That process usually takes about five or six minutes, but it looks like it's complete. And you'll immediately see and right over here in the thumb drive, it basically does have our ISO image and we do have the option to double click on setup. If we want to actually do an upgrade, we'll be doing a full from scratch installation. So we'll be using this thumb drive to boot up from in the computer and get the installation going. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just modify the thumb drive here in just a little bit. So bring up this, uh, open up the thumb drive here and just open this little folder that says sources. And just scroll down a little bit until you find a file that is labeled appraiser res res dot dll once you locate that file right over here just go ahead and delete it if you don't want to delete it feel free to just go ahead and remove it drag it onto your desktop if you'd like and then just go ahead and delete it you'll see basically we just made a little modification to our usb thumb drive installation mm -hmm. And now that file is gone. So let's go ahead and get this thumb drive plugged in and get the Windows 11 installation going. All right, so I do have the USB thumb drive plugged in to a system here that is currently using a first generation Ryzen 1700 CPU. I've definitely used this particular system in other videos, but this is an example of a CPU in this case that won't actually be supported by Windows 11. So Windows 11 installation will actually not be allowed. Motherboard, it does have a TPM chip in it, but in case your particular motherboard on your system or laptop does not have a TPM chip available at this time, or you actually just turned it off, you'll probably run into another uh, brick wall there. But fortunately, the little modification we did will allow you to continue. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Let me go ahead and click on next. I'll just click on install now. 
depending on which kind of system you're using, particularly if it's a branded system or not, you may actually see the option here of which Windows 11 you would like actually installed, and that usually comes up if it's asking you for a CD key. Just for the sake of uh, demonstration here, I'm just going to click on I do not have a product key. And you'll see it's actually select, asking us uh, to select which Windows 11 um, version we'd like to install. I'll just go ahead and click on Windows 11 Pro, click on Next. And you'll see by now, it definitely should have already stopped us saying that the installation cannot continue. But as you can see, looks like everything's working like A-OK -okay so far. So let's go ahead and click on the I accept the EULA. And of course, we will be doing a custom installation. Of course, you do have the option to um, do an upgrade. You can basically do the upgrade here or just run it directly from your current Windows version 7 or 10 in this case. I'm just going to do a full installation. Obviously, it does detect there's already data on this particular drive that we have on the system. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on each partition and just go ahead and delete them since I know everything's going to be wiped out in the end anyway. We'll just have Windows 11 completely on a new full partition on this particular drive. All right, looks like we're ready. Just gonna go ahead and hit click on next. And let's get going. This process shouldn't take too long, but I'll go ahead and speed right through it anyway. All right, looks like our installation has been completed. Didn't really take so long. It took about maybe around eight minutes, I'd say. So let's go ahead and just continue on here. And I'll go ahead and bypass this entire area here because obviously it's just basically your regular setup here for the most part. Go ahead and then um, just demonstrate to you. This is actually a first generation CPU currently running Windows 11. I'm just turning off all this creepy stuff here and just click on accept and I'll go ahead and just process the whole rest of the installation right here. So once this is complete, I'll go ahead and get some drivers install installed here, some updates installed and go ahead and show you the finished product. How Windows 11 installation has been completed, I actually went ahead and personalized it a little bit and just want to go ahead and just run some updates here. Actually, some of them have already run but there's still some more over here that are available just to demonstrate that obviously updates are still available even with a little modification on the installation thumb drive that we did a little bit earlier. And actually it does look like this was a complete success. You actually go ahead and bring up Task Manager just to show you the CPU that's currently being used. You can still see the Ryzen 7 1700 uh, processor right here. And of course Windows 11 is running pretty smoothly for the most part on it. Are there going to be any differences between the processor that's unsupported and unsupported? I believe Windows 11 really pretty much is uh, trying to aim at some more like up-to-date modern security features that are probably introduced maybe post-2019-2020. 
However, there's really no reason why a new operating system it really just can't run on the system that basically was just released uh, 2017 and even in some cases 2018. So definitely uh, available, that option is definitely available if you want to go ahead and upgrade or even install Windows 11 from scratch from a thumb drive. Definitely let me know if you have any questions regarding this process, any comments about it, if there's been any issues you've actually experienced with it. I'll be more than happy to try to assist you as best as I can. All right, definitely shoot a like and subscribe if you found this tip uh, really uh, useful to you. And definitely subscribe for more. I'll definitely have more for you in the coming days and weeks. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And as always, stay safe.